Okay guys, Grandma Shannon here, and today we're going to learn about knitting. Now when you're knitting, you need yarn, and you need two knitting needles. And it's very important to make sure that your knitting needles are the same size. Now on the bottom of the needle, it has a little stamp on it that tells you, now these are a size eight. And it doesn't matter right now what size we're using because when you go, when you learn how to read a pattern, it will tell you what size you need. But the important thing is, is that they are both the same size. Okay. The first thing we need to learn how to do in knitting is called casting on because when you are knitting all your strings are right here on the needle and you go and you have to work off of the needle not straight off of the yarn okay so this is a skein of yarn now on one end you have a string that's wrapped around the outside and it's loose and on the other end you have one that's coming out from the middle it's important to always use the part that's coming out of the middle when you're using a skein. When you're using a ball, use the outside string, okay? So the first thing you need to know how to do is you need to know how to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you're gonna put the string over two fingers so that it's facing towards you. So you're gonna take this yarn, you're gonna wrap it around both fingers and you want it to cross over itself right here, okay? Now reach your hand in between those two fingers and grab that back yarn. Now when you've got that back yarn, you go ahead, grab this string right here and grab the part you did and you pull it like this. You pull it nice and tight. Now this is called a slip knot because this can slide in and out. You can adjust the tension of it. Okay, so if you didn't get that, go back, rewind it and watch it again. Some people have trouble learning how to make a slip knot. Okay, so this is the basics of knitting. You want to take this slip knot, you want to put it over your first knitting needle. Now you want to pull this string so it's fairly snug, but it's got to be able to move. Okay, now take this needle that has a yarn attached to it in your left hand or in your non-dominant hand. If you are left-handed, you're going to want to hold this in your right hand. Most people are right-handed, so you're gonna to wanna to hold this in your left hand. This needle, you wanna hold in your right hand. Now, this is what we call the tail. Make sure when you're casting on that you don't accidentally use the tail. Make sure you're getting that yarn that's coming right off from the ball, okay? So what you do is you take the second needle, you push it from, from the bottom up right next to that needle and then you form an X, okay? Then you take this yarn right here and you bring it around behind that needle. And you're gonna slide this needle out. And as you slide the needle out, you use the tip of the needle to grab that yarn. And now you have a loop on both things. But we're gonna take this loop, we're gonna bring it over the top of the needle and now we have two loops on the needle. Now you want to pull that so it's kind of tight. Make sure that your work is staying nice and even here. Okay, so you're going to take this needle. Now you're going to take the one that you just put on there. You're going to put this through it just like we just did. We're going to form an X. You're going to take that yarn. You're going to wrap it around. Now you're going to put a little, put a little bit of tension on that yarn, kind of hold it. And then bring this, use the tip, slide that tip right along the other one and see how it's grabbing that loop of yarn and pulling it up. And then you pull that yarn right over and you put it right over the top of that first, first needle. Okay, pull on it, make it kind of tight. Now, if you are following a pattern, it will tell you how many to cast on. And so you can count how many loops are on your thing. One, two, three. So I'm going to cast on 12 loops. So I want you guys to follow me, okay? So remember, take your right hand needle, put it inside that yarn, but make sure it goes between those two loops so you're only in this one loop. Inside that yarn, make an X. See the X? Okay, the X, your right hand needle is going to be behind the left hand needle. 
You're gonna bring this yarn, make sure it's the yarn that's connected to the ball, not the yarn that's hanging down, not the tail. Okay, you're gonna wrap it around behind it. Make sure that this goes up and behind. You don't wanna go over the top, okay? Behind it and around. And then get a grip on that yarn, get a grip on your needles, whatever's comfortable for you. You don't wanna make it too tight. Slide this one out. Grab it and pull it over the top, okay? Now this, what you're doing, when you're putting it in here and you're wrapping the yarn around and you're pulling it over, that is a knit. But to cast on, we have to take that loop and we gotta bring it all the way up over the top, okay? And you cast on however many you want. And remember, they gotta be nice and neat because you have to be able to count them. Knitting involves a lot of counting. Okay, so put it through, wrap this from behind, bring, whoops, slipped it. Remember, use the tip. Can you see how that tip is just sliding right along that other needle and grabbing that yarn and bringing it out? Okay, and you bring it right over the top. You let it go, pull it tight. Put it in here, behind that yarn, Make an X, wrap it from the back, slide it out just like that and bring it over the top. Okay, now, once you get used to doing it, you should be able to do it fairly quickly. Round, up, over, behind. Now make sure that when you're putting this, that this, that this knot right here is, is facing away from you, facing towards the outside. Because when you, as your work grows, it's gonna grow in that direction. Okay, so let's just keep going. Bring it around and over the top. Whoops, I kinda caught it right there. See, pull it tight. Okay, remember I said I wanna do 12. So bring it around, bring it over the top. Just like that. Now let's see where we are. You can see how many loops. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We need one more. So loop it and we'll bring it around and we'll put it on there. Okay. Now, now look at how we got this. We have nice even loops. They got the same tension. You get a nice straight row. Okay, if yours doesn't look like that, you want to pull it off one loop at a time and pull it apart. Only pull off one loop at a time until you get to wherever it is you made your mistake. You might have crossed something over. Okay, but always make sure this is facing away from you. So this should not go behind. If this is on, if this, is on this side of it, you're messing up. Okay, so remember. Put it behind it, cross it over, bring this from the back, and bring it up. And I want you to work on casting on until you feel comfortable with it. Because this is the basics of knitting right here. Okay, you got to get that, you got to get in there, you got to grab a hold of that, and you got to use the tip of your needle right there and slide it right underneath. Okay, this tip is what's grabbing the needle from the other side. Now, how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that is twelve cast on, and we are going to stop right there.